So the thing I dislike the most about cutting my hair is um, it's too big of a hat. What up friends, Liron here. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today I want to talk to you about my practice schedule specifically for watercolor. And this is a very important topic because I think practice is one of the really building blocks of achieving your creative potential. Now it's such an amazing tool and basically a must, a thing that's a must to do in order to be successful. And you can do it properly and improperly. Now, let me tell you just a bit about my history with practicing watercolor. So in the beginning, all I had was watercolor time in my tight schedule. Uh, so I would have an hour a day or two hours a day or four times a week or whatever it was, watercolor time. And I would just take a picture, try to draw it. I was really just finding myself in that world. I didn't know anything. Now, with time, I started to understand that practice and creation need to be separate, separated, uh, just like the video I recorded. And so I started separating the two. I said, okay, this time is specifically designed for practice. And this time is specifically designed for uh, creation. So creation is completely free. I do whatever I want. And practice is really, really like uh, working on the skills, not worrying too much about the result, but still trying to go for something repetitive, things like this. Now, up until recently, I would just uh, start my practice time and I would be like, okay, what practice should I do today? And then I just search for something and do it, which was okay. It, it's, it's an okay thing to do. I would practice um, very well in one specific skill. And when I have creation time, I would just do creation. I'll take a picture, try to paint it, draw it and do whatever I want with it being completely free. Now, the problem with this is that it wasn't organized enough for me and having raised my standards uh, lately and really starting to understand what I want and the level I want to achieve, I understood that, you know, I'm on such a tight schedule and I have so many things to do, so I have to make the maximum out of the practice sessions. I started reading an amazing book, uh, Mastery by Robert Greene, and slowly I started to understand how it all connects together. And what I did was actually create a practice schedule, meaning I actually know what I do every day in advance. And I think the best thing to do would be to actually just read some of it to you. But basically the way it works is from Sunday to Thursday, I'm doing practice sessions. And on Friday, I have creation time, meaning I can just do whatever I want. And on Saturday, I I'm not obligated to do anything, but if I do feel the urge to paint, I will paint. Um, now, during the week, if I finish my practice session quickly, relatively quickly, let's say an hour or an hour and a half or two hours, I can move on and do uh, a certain period of time for creation as well, but I must do the practice, okay? so. Uh, Sunday to Thursday. Now, because this is how the week works in Israel, it's from Sunday to Thursday is the work week. Uh, it's not Monday to uh, Friday. So it's just you can play with it however you want. Okay, so I'm just going to read some stuff to you. So for example, on the 17th of April, which is was Monday, I did abstract and composition. Um, focus on that. So what I did was just try to build a very simple composition with lines and shapes and just paint it. And this was my practice session for the day. Uh, on the 18th, which was um, Tuesday, the day after, I did blending and colors, which I think I shared on Instagram. It's like the circles. Um, I'll, I'll put a picture here, here somewhere, I think here. <laughs> um, so it, this was that. The day afterwards, I focused, my practice was to create a very accurate sketching as a basis or preparatory sketch for the painting. Okay, so it was, this was my practice actually, not even watercolor, it was drawing super accurately. Okay, uh, the day after it was brush stroke techniques, also shared that on my Instagram. And then we, re we get to Friday. So Friday was pure creation time, just do whatever I want. On Friday, I did the painting with, uh, I'm going to show you on my sketchbook, um, just a very beautiful tree and fields and then a winding road. 
Um, and then Saturday it's just vacation unless I feel like really the urge to paint. Okay, now vacation is also important because uh, you want to have some time to disconnect, especially if you're uh, practicing a, in a, using a grueling routine. So uh, if you do work really hard, you kind of need to balance it out with a bit of rest, a bit detachment from the medium because uh, you start to, to really get a, like a feeling you want to do it again. It just makes you more motivated to start again on the next week. Um, but uh, granted, if I feel really the urge to create, I will. I will probably start just creating and uh, painting. I won't stop myself like by force. But I'm not feeling guilty at all if on Saturdays I don't paint at all, okay? So uh, this is that, and then I continue on. I have on uh, Sunday, uh, wet and wet, uh, Monday, blending and uh, monochromatic, like the circles that I did a video on. Um, the, uh, the next day I have shapes, painting shapes, not objects. So the thing is, um, this is my practice schedule. Now let's wrap up this whole video. What I'm trying to say is, if you want to really succeed in watercolor and go above the um, sort of intermediate level, I think it's important to be more deliberate in how you practice. And this is exactly what I'm trying to do with this one, to just be more deliberate about it. Um, so I'm trying to actually plan out a schedule and know exactly what I'm doing every day and it just makes me just so much better because I wake up, I look at my schedule and I see pa -pa -pa, I need to work on the uh, blending, uh, blending exercise, I need to work today on wet and wet. I don't need to think, I don't need to waste time, I don't need to waste mental energy, I know exactly what I'm doing. And just like professional athletes and just like musicians and just like anyone who wants to play at a pro level, having a good plan can only help. Um, li with leaving some room for flexibility, of course. Right? So this is it. This is what I wanted to share with you today. I hope this helps you and maybe it motivates some of you who kind of have been lying to themselves because deep down you may know that you want to get to that crazy level but you haven't taken enough action to get there. So hopefully if that's you, it will help you to do that. And if you're someone who just enjoys playing, uh, painting, sorry, leisurely at your free time and just enjoy the whole process and have fun with it, you know, you don't really have to to adopt such a crazy schedule. Uh, but for me, it really works, and maybe you're one of those people that it will help. So this is it for today. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and here on YouTube, and I will see you in another video tomorrow. <music>